Hello, this is Steve Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse, and I'm going to go over a what looks like a, a pretty complex graphic here and can be a bit deceiving. Uh, I'm going to show you the graphic in wireframe, so we'll go over and hit our view in simple wireframe or wireframe. And notice I've set up a shortcut key for that, so a lot of times I'll use the shortcut keys to make things faster. And you can see there's just a, a ton of stuff going on with this graphic here. Uh, the customer sent this to us to set up a cut line on it, and when you, you first look at it in wireframe mode, it can be a bit intimidating. What I want to point out to you, though, it, it doesn't matter on all the stuff on the inside here because we're just looking for the outer edge to make sure that outer edge will work. And I can see that there's a couple spots that might be a little bit of a concern. I'll hit my, my zoom and I'll zoom in on this stuff right here. And I can, right there, those lines could be a concern if they're not overlapping with the method I'm going to use, but we'll give it a try and see if it works. I'll press F4 and we'll zoom back out and I'm going to go to show the the actual view of the graphic. I'm going to again zoom out just a hair so I can have everything on the screen there. That's good. And what I'm going to do is the three-step method that I've shown many times before of using Corel. It works in X3 on up to the most current version X5. I simply can take this and as long as these aren't grouped together I can select everything on the screen there and I can tell if they're grouped together by right down here at the bottom it says 50 objects selected so it doesn't show a group it's objects and my weld and trim functions show up up here so I'll take the one almost on the end here create a boundary now because there is so much in this I'm gonna click on this and you're gonna see the computer sit there for a, a little while it may even come up and say not responding because it's trying to calculate the line that will surround all those objects and there's so many objects in there there's 50 objects but there's all the nodes for those objects and it's calculating the points and counterpoints of everything and trying to figure out if it can create an object around it so it's doing a lot of mathematical computations and you can see at the top of the screen it says not responding give it a little bit of time sometimes it says that and we just need to let it sit there and, and work itself out I have had graphics where they've been so many objects we're talking thousands upon thousands of objects and it has crashed Corel but we can see it just took a less than a minute there and now if I move this to the side you'll see that I've got a nice cut line and I'll actually copy that I right clicked as I moved it to the side and now I've got a copy of that portion there and I can see everything around it. The only thing that it really missed in there was the inside of the O, and I'll show you how to fix that. And I'm not sure about this portion right in here. If I want to maybe work with that and get those nodes out of there so that it's a little bit smoother when it cuts, because if I was going to go cut that, uh, it would be a little bit of a problematic area with the cutter. I could easily go into my node tool and just select a couple of these and delete them and maybe delete that guy there and take this little bump right there right click on it and we'll make it to a line and then it would kind of go in there but let's zoom back out to see everything and we're actually going to delete this one I don't need it I just wanted to show it to you guys so I'll delete that and we'll take the outer one here I've got it all selected and I'm going to go over and right click on my cut contour so now if I zoom in on that I can see that I've got that nice cut contour line around the outside of the entire uh, graphic here. So again, I'm going to get rid of those nodes right there because they, they really, it's not going to do anything good for my cutter. And maybe I could blend that in so that black goes across so it doesn't show on the shirt. And we'll right click on that guy and make it to a line. And not quite what we wanted, pretty close, but I could always fill that portion right there with a little bit of black. I could use my smart fill tool over here come over and grab that and for fill we'll specify it I'll pick my color and grab the color right off in here I've got that and I don't want an outline with this one so we'll say no outline and I'll come in here and click right there and it should fill it in for me hopefully we won't make a mess of this and it's saying not responding it's trying to calculate a lot I didn't think it would have to calculate that much right in there and hopefully it'll fill exactly like we wanted I could have also grabbed the nodes in there and just kind of dragged them over a little bit so that it, it filled that portion right there. So we'll give it another second or two. It's still thinking. And hopefully it won't take too long. I think I may have some processes going in in the background on my computer that could be slowing everything down here too. And there it did. It did the fill for us. Uh, but I can still see a little bit of a white line around it. Maybe that's because we've got it selected. So we'll unselect. I'm not real happy with that there. So I'll just delete that. 
and we'll go into our node edit tool and that black outline there it's not letting me pick it up so we'll come back to eh, I don't want to come back to it let's see what we've got going on here it shows oh it's an outline that's why it's an object properties it's got an outline I can see over here no that's not it either so let's do this we'll grab our outline here and that may have been what's causing us a little bit of problems we'll hit control X we'll kind of cut that out of there leave it on the clipboard and now let's see if we can get ah that's I, that was a whole bunch of grouped items together and that's why it was causing a little bit of problem there now I've got the nodes here so I can delete these nodes here and what we'll do is we'll delete this one here these couple right there and then I'll right click and make that to align bring this guy down and that's gone now so I've got a full there and then I'll hit control V because remember we had that cut line on our clipboard and I can see there's one spot right here so let's go in and get that one spot there and drag it over and now when I zoom back out I hit F4 I can see the whole thing it's nice and smooth in that area the only problem we have left is still on the inside of that O right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in on that and we'll use that smart fill tool again so we'll go over to smart fill and this time I'm going to use no fill on the inside of it because I want to have it clear on the inside there. And on my outline options, I'll specify what it's going to be. I've got my cut contour already selected in there. I could use the drop down and use the eyedropper or hit other and selected it. But we've got the color that we want. And now I'll click on the inside of that O and it's going to calculate. And got a few processes going on in the background on this computer. So I guess that's what's slowing it down. So we'll give it a, a couple seconds here, and it should put a line perfectly on the inside of that O for us. And it's still processing. It hasn't come up and said not responding yet, so we'll give it a little bit of time. I was doing this video real quick, uh, trying to send it back out to somebody quickly, so I apologize for having so much going on in the background there that it's bogging the system down a little bit. Usually I make sure everything's nice and clean and tidy and not, not using any processor so that I can do it. And there we go we've got the line right there and I can increase that if I want to see it a little bit better maybe make it a two millimeter and there it is right there so we've got our entire graphic oops need to select outside of that and we've got our entire graphic we've got a nice cut line that goes all the way around it all the way around the lettering and everything and all in under three or four minutes really to do the whole process so Hopefully this helped you guys out and you learned a couple tips and tricks from it. As always, you can contact me at steven at imprintables.com. YouTube channel is Stephen Jackson IW, all one word. And you can always call us at 800-347-0068. Thanks for stopping by.